Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Build Your Own Brewery, Brewmastery, and we're gonna play it. Hold up. All right, so the game is under development. At this current stage, we are trying to collect as much fe useful feedback as possible in order to fix all the shortcomings and bugs. And we are also working on new content. Great. Okay, so there's no... Uh, okay, I guess we click on... Uncle Jeff taught me two things. Not to get drunk after long feasts and not to keep all savings in one place. These skills help me become a great traveler and not to die in a drunken brawl like most of my colleagues. As one Metropolitan Chronicler said, an adventurer's main enemy is not a dragon, but a drinking body. When I was squandering earned money in a distant poor town, I received a letter from my mother and became aware of Uncle Jeff's illness. I wanted to leave right away, but damn bureaucracy. Dwarves love to drink, dig, and paper more than anything else, especially the papers. Therefore, I received permission to leave the city within two weeks. When I got home, my uncle had already died, so I hated bureaucracy and inherited a tavern. More precisely, I should have inherited. All the documents were with my sister, who arrived at uncle before me. Did I mention that I hate bureaucracy? <laughs> Okay, so it's got some voice acting. Like it. Love it. Bureaucracy. It is a weird word to say. So, my uncle died before I got there. I hate bureaucracy was uh, the statement. Okay. So, it looks pretty. Kind of looks like Skyrim. Yeah. It's got a very Skyrim-y vibe about it. Oh. Who's this dude? Good evening. You must be Mr. Jeff's ne nephew. Uh, and who didn't know old Jeff? I loved having a drink and he loved his job. Who are you? Everyone in the village knows me as the scribe and it's my duty to know everything. Nice to meet you. Mutually, your arrival is important for our village. The locals really hope that it will be possible to spend the evenings in the tavern again. Okay. Condolences to you. Your uncle was a wonderful man who was loved and respected by many in our village. But you must be tired from the road. You should rest. The bed is on the second floor, and I'll come by tomorrow after 7 a.m. The tavern is a popular place in our village, and where else do people gather after a hard day in the field? I drank a glass of light, winked at the beauty, and my heart somehow immediately became more cheerful. Okay? How everyone grieved when a fire broke out in the tavern a few years ago, and they say that it's not about old Manson... Who forgot to put a cigarette, but yes, you have a lot of work to do. But before you start it, you need to have a good rest. Go to sleep. All right, so we've got to go to the second floor. There's our hint. Go up to the... So this isn't the second floor. Can't run. Can't, can't interact with the doors. Okay. I mean, it's a very nicely appointed place. Uh, okay. So still can't still can't interact with anything. That's okay. There's some letters. Painting of someone pulling a cow. Looks like Hieronymus Bosch. Yeah, that's all right. That's cool. I like the paintings. They, they put some paintings in here. That's that's excellent. Oh, there's like a, a rocking chair. Who lit this fire, man? Did that guy light the fire and turn all the lights on? Wood ain't free, bro. You gotta pay for that. All right, I guess we go to sleep. Uh. How do I? There we go. Okay, so we did us a sleep. Oh, there's a bath. Scriber is coming. Meet him in the hall. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, artichokey. I'm on my way. 
Where is he? Oh, there he is. I found him. Pretty. Oh, he's gonna push me in. That's a funny lighting change, but that is quite pretty. This is uh this'll make a nice this'll make a nice screenshot for my um for my thumbnail. Grab some grab some pretty screenshots because the game is very pretty. Alright, what's up, dude? Oop. Um The conversation is going to be long. Since our conversation will be long, it'll be good to start with a glass of beer to freshen up. It's time to do it, but first let me show how it all works. Beer tastes twice as good. Uh, when you know the secrets of making it, it doesn't hurt to know a couple if you want to compete. Um, well, as I say, do not learn to brew beer, but learn to grow malt. Follow me, I'll show you. Show me, it won't hurt. Mm -hmm. the, the writing is a little bit awkward, but that's okay. I feel like that's probably a uh, English translation thing rather than a uh, bad writing thing. Yeah, if you need some help localizing the game, happy to do that. Man, there's a... There's a big change from when you go inside to outside. Okay, we're done with that now. Probably processed grain is the basis of any foamy. Of any foamy? Look, there are some stocks of Mr. Jeff left. But they will not be enough, so you need to fill up the bag. Uh, to fill the bag. First go to the bag and press E to pick it up. Understood. Don't learn how to brew. Okay. Where's the, where's the bag? Okay. All right, excellent. Now collect the grain in it. Remember, barley is the base of so many beers. You yourself know the taste of barley ale and what he gives foam. Is there anything else in the garden besides barley or wheat? Mr. Jeff used to grow a lot here, but damn weeds. All right. Get a comfortable bit and then start growing wheat and other plants important for brewing. Okay. Where, where where's the grain? Pick up grains in a bag. Oh, these are the grains here. Okay. Okay. So we picked some grains. Good job, team. We are unbelievable. Um, next, now leave it in a trough of water so that it is thoroughly soaked. I think that the one of one use of the watch is enough. You can find the clock on the table in the kitchen. To activate the grips and in the hands and for an additional action for the clock. This will start the timer. Soak the grains. Uh, where am I supposed to soak them with water? And put. I mean, is that water? I don't. I honestly do not know. Soak the grains in water. What? We got some pumpkins there. I just... Where... Is this water? I don't... I honestly have no idea if that's water. Put. Because it doesn't... It just... It comes up with the, the button. Okay, so what is this? Let's try and... Alright, so we filled that with water. Put? No. Okay. I don't... I, d I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing, but that's alright. Nope, that's not... None of, the, none of this is working. What am I supposed to do, man? Now leave it in a trough of water so that it can surely soak. Okay. So we put it in a trough... Hopefully that's full of water, and then uh, he said there was a clock. Activate. Okay. Did we did we do the thing? Did we do it right? Bring the bag inside and wait another turn of the clock for the seeds to germinate. Brewing is a painstaking process. Uh, all right. So we're, so we're leaving this in the air. There we go. And then we go like this. So 
Did they? They didn't change. Nothing happened. But they must have germinated, right? Uh, ready, what's next? Dry the grains in the oven. Okay. So I guess we're going to the oven now. Uh, use the stove in the corner of the workshop on the first floor because the barley needs to be properly dried in a vat on it. Uh, okay, you need to keep the oven temperature within the indicated ranges. Important to bear in mind that over time the temperature gradually drops. Oh, I don't... Good quality. Nice. Alright, finished with this. However, in the oven you can only not only dry the grain, but also roast it. Thus the malt acquires additional aroma and changes color. Uh, alrighty. Kilning. Right, so move the mouse with the left button pressed to the stir the malt. The more even the roast, the better the result. You can stop the process using the space button. There we go. So we got to... So we're, we're making it whatever color we want. Right. So we can make a, a quite dark ale if we want. Alright, that's fun. I'm here for that. I like that. We're going to go for a very dark one. <laughs> Very good roasting uniformity. Nice. Alright, so we did that. Uh, what's next? Excellent with the stove finished. Now bring the water from the well in the backyard and pour it into a special vat for mashing, which is to the right of the stove. Put the resulting malt in the same place. Water can be carried in bucket or barrel. Um, wait three hours and you will get the wart, the basis of the future drink. Um, Alright. Alright, so we put that in there. And we just drop that, right? Because we don't need that. Now we just need... I think this has already got water in it, so I think we can probably take this just back there and dump it in there. Okay. And then we drop it, and then we go wait three hours, right? Alright, so the clock just does whatever we need it to do, I guess. Did this. Resulting wort needs to be boiled for this. Place it in the oven on the second floor and add a little more water. How do we... Okay. How do we... Put it in the barrel? Okay, cool. We gotta put it in the barrel. We got the barley wort. It's in the barrel. Now we're going to the second floor. And then we put it in the boiler, right? In the boiler. In the boiler, team. In the boiler. Uh, I mean... Okay, what, what else do we need to do? He did say. He said something. I'm not sure what he said. Where is he? What'd you say? And add a little bit more water. Okay. So we need to add a little bit more water. I'm on to it, Chief. Can't use those. But there is a second barrel. So we'll just fill that. There we go. We need to boil it. And there must not be enough water in there to boil. There we go. So now, how long do we boil it for? That long. Alright, let's go talk to the scribe. 
Uh, I see you're doing great. There's still a little bit left. Be Leave the wart in the oven and use the trough next to it. And be careful with your action so as not to spoil the drink. Alright. Oh. Did I do that wrong? Or? I, don't, I don't actually know. I don't actually know. Okay, to cool the ward is necessary to press the buttons that appear in succession as... Are, oh my god. That's really not that much fun. Oh my gosh. Normal quality. Wow, that is really hard. Okay. A little bit of warning would be good, but that's alright. Um... Can you smell the barley must? It is almost ready. It remains to place it in a fermentation vat and wait one hour. Chan is in the corner of the workshop on the second floor. By the way, now is the time to add yeast to decide if you want ale or lager. You can, of course, add nothing and leave it a chance. There are sacks of yeast near the vat, and if you want to clean it of yeast, there's a red rag on the table nearby. To make ale, you need top fermenting yeast. Depending on the variety, the taste of the finished drink will be rich, fruity, or caramel. Something lighter than go for bottom fermenting yeast. The drink will be lighter in taste with char characteristic bitterness. Uh, okay. I understand that. Um, where did he say the yeast was? Um, I don't. I don't know where the yeast is. Do do. Okay, uh, we will find it there. Ooh, there we go. Okay, ferment the wort by leaving it in the fermentation vat. Okay. Oh, so it's still in here, right? Where's the fermentation vat? This is the, this isn't the ferment. Oh, it is. Top yeast. Okay. And and then what? Do I just... I'll, do, I'll use the... Uh, I'll use the old clock, huh? Talk to the scribe. I mean, we've been going non-stop for days. This guy never uses the bathroom. Um, last come, finish your beer and I'm waiting for you. Using the book on the table. Uh. Barley raw drink. I, okay. We will use the book on the table. We've got our beer there. Recognize the beer. What? Is it because I took it? Uh, it's because I put it in the barrel. I wasn't supposed to, right? I was just supposed to leave it in the fermentation ton. Fine. I'll put it back. It should probably... Uh, yeah. It's alright. It should probably recognize the beer even if it's in a barrel. Hopefully the video helps. Recognize the beer. Nope. Um. Right. Um, how do I confirm it? No. I don't So my color is quite dark. Nope, that's not it. I don't, I, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know how to make it do the stuff. I don't know what this step is about. Is 
So it didn't tell me to filter it? Right. Okay. I don't... I don't know, man. Well, well, I'll go up there. I'll put it through the filter. I can do that. I don't. It didn't. the The thing didn't tell me how to how to do that, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Filter the resulting raw drink. Okay, so we're filtering it. I don't. I don't know if that's filtered now. Yeah, I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing This doesn't seem to be having any effect And I'm sad Okay, barley raw drink Let's, We'll just put it down Ready Oh, it's ready Oh, so I was supposed to keep filtering it I don't Man, I don't know. Um, what's in this one? I just... I don't know what is... So there's nothing in this barrel. Okay, so it's this barrel here. So then, how do we... How do we determine what is in the barrel? We filtered it. We did us a filter. Okay. It said it was ready. We will now take it downstairs to the table and we will determine what kind of beer it is. Recognize the beer. Recognize the beer. Why is this not working? Okay, so. Yeah, nothing. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know what. I don't know what is supposed to be happening here, but it's not happening. Hmm. Which is a shame because I was I was actually quite enjoying myself. Um, but it just the this step doesn't work. Um, yeah. It, do it doesn't work. Soak grains in a trough. Why is that bouncing? What grains am I supposed to soak in a trough? What? Oh, I see. Because I, I clicked on the... Um... So that's... that. So you... So you tell it what you want to cook. Right, and then it's like, right, but it, it it doesn't recognize the beer. Aha, royal blood. There we go. Okay, so I needed to hold the. Yeah, right. I needed to hold the uh, barrel while I was doing it. That's not now. Pour everything into a barrel and check the book on the table. I did that. Oh my god, I already did that, brother. Like, where are you going? What, what are you doing now? I can't wait to try it. Pour beer and do not praise the beer when you pour it, but praise it when you drink it. And that's right. Pour it into the sample and do not forget to monitor the amount of foam. Mugs in the... Okay. Okay, so we made a beer. We created a beer. Where did the beer go? There it is. Still shaking and doing its thing. Apparently, I uh, released a live... Uh, muskrat or something in there. Nope. Where do I? Okay. So it's four star royal blood. Base barley, yeast top, color, barley wine is called so because of its strength it reaches 12%. Intoxication will be felt after the first mug of this noble drink. The beer has a rich velvety and slightly better taste, which may seem strange to the unaccustomed, but leave me, it's worth tasting. I like that. Um, pick. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't 
know what I'm supposed to do. What what does pick mean? What did I do? Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand the, the, um, okay. Explain this to me again. <laughs> this, uh, mini game makes no sense. Okay. Indicated by the green range. I this this mini game makes no sense. Okay. Tilt the mug to the left. Tilt the mug to the right. Oh, it finally tilted. Okay. Great. It it just it just it doesn't it won't do it. Ugh! Like the, the, the actual, oh my God, this is really stupid. Okay. So this, is that all the, I can't pour any more in. I'll just drink some. Oh my god. Okay, so that minigame is easily the worst minigame and how it explains. Because it says press left click and it will tilt it to the left. Not press left click and drag the mouse. That is really annoying. I did not enjoy that. Um, there we go. Uh, and that's right. All right. There we go. Excellent taste. Mr. Jeff would be pleased with your work. I see that you've already settled down enough, so here are your keys to the tavern. Wait for me to visit. I advise you to brew, uh, first brew a lot of different types of beer to please all the guests. You can open the tavern using a sign on the wall near the entrance. Thanks for the help. Uh, okay. So he says, first brew a bunch of beers. Right. Um, I... I drank all of that beer. Fantastic. On the plus side, all of the stuff has respawned. So that's that's fine. Uh, I'll I'm gonna make some more uh, beer, and then we'll open the guests, and we'll see and we'll see what that's like. We'll see how that goes, and what I'll do is I'll fast forward. <laughs> Alright team, so we've made three different beers, I think. So that's 250, that one's also 250, everything's 250, okay. Um, so I don't, I don't understand how we, I don't understand how we change this. Okay, so, so we can't, oh there we go. 
or we can lower it. So it was 250. Okay. We'll go 301 on that one. What's that one? That one's ale and hops. Oh. Does it change the price for everything? So everything, so you can't individually change the prices. Okay. So my cheapest crap is being sold for the same amount as my good stuff. Man, that uh, text does not look very good, but that's okay. We will open the, we'll open the tavern. And I think we've got one mug. Oh, there's some more mugs on the counter. Can we use those? Yeah. Can we, there we go, we can put it down. And here comes our first customer, I'm ready. What's up, my dude? Oh, do I have to go ask him? Okay, well I will go ask him then. What up, dude? I made a good deal today, I want to wash it, bring wheat. Oh, uh, yep. Ale and, ale and hops. Bring wheat is a very, uh, Weird way of saying that, but that's okay. No. no. Nice. Alright, we are bringing wheat. Okay, so is he done now? Something exquisite. Okie dokie. I mean, did I did I make some money or did I just give him that? I don't, man, I do not know what I'm doing here. Okay. Oops. Small amount of foam. Success. All right. So I guess when we talk to him... There we go. So we so we made some money. I love this beer, and you did it well. Thank you. Okay, what about this guy? Have I take dark and have something to eat? I don't I don't have any food. Love this beer, and you did it well. All right. Well, I have some dark beer. I do. I do have some dark beer. Okay. So the so I've got four stars or whatever that whatever that means. Um, poor royal mug, royal blood. Okay, no foam, nice, and we will serve this guy some beers. Oh, I didn't, ah, I need to sell stuff. Why am I not selling stuff? Hey, you mustache and fat, stop washing this and bring me the best dark. Uh, okay. All the beer is not bad, do not, thank you. Oh, okay, I mean, he said bring a dark. I brought him a dark. I brought him the, it, it was what he asked for. Pretty sure this guy asked for something dark as well. But whatever. We're just gonna pour them some more royal blood. There we go. I don't know why there's an option to just give it to them. That just seems weird. Like. Okay, and this guy, what do you want? With something exquisite. Sure. Did you like the thing, my dude? I love this beer, and you did it well. Excellent. And what do you want? Something, ex they, they both want something exquisite. So I guess that just means five stars or something. Okay, well, we can do that. Um, uh, why is this? There we go. There we are. Nice. So now, ugh, there's a little bit of. Why is it only a hundred? I don't. I don't understand why it's only a hundred. What? 
Is it to do with the... Okay, so that obviously doesn't work. The, um... The, uh, the pricing doesn't work, because I can't change beauty smile price. Um, different from the other ones. But it is different, which is pretty annoying. I love the spear, and you did it well. Thank you. What about you, my dude? I love the spear, and you did it well. Excellent. What do you want? Uh, give me barley now. I almost got robbed near the highway. Hey, you. I can't wait to get my throat wet. I've had a bl bring me the best light. Okay. So he wants a barley. I can do that. Um, right. We might be we might be starting to run out. Might be starting to run out of beer. That's okay. On the plus side, we are making lots of moolah. And the other guy wants a light beer. I've got that. I've got that. There you go. And we'll just stay here and ask him what he thinks. Excellent. He liked it. So, and then the other guy wants the best light beer. We can do that too. Why won't... Why will it not... Okay. There we go. Yeah, so is this the better, this this must be the better quality one. Alright, there we are. This is pretty fun, man. I mean... Uh, right, so they both just get sold for 100. It's really annoying. Wheat now! Alright. Did you like that? This is not what I asked for. Uh, I mean, I brought him a light beer. Like, it was literally light beer. But, okay, so I don't... Maybe they're just annoying. Maybe they're just annoying customers. That's that's the realest part of uh, this is that the 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 customer is unhappy even though I got him exactly what he asked for. All right. I mean, it says that there's no foam, so that one goes for three hundred one. Uh, I didn't know that this beer can be so tasty. Great. Something exquisite. I am gonna... Closed. Oh, he'll just leave. Okay. Right, so then... I mean, what do we... What do we do with the money? Is the next question. Nothing, apparently. We do nothing with the money. Why did we get to sleep? I don't... Hmm. I'm gonna go for a walk. We're gonna go for a walk because I've I oh 1789 is my star rating. Okay. We'll we'll go for a walk now and see what the rest of the world has to offer. So yeah. We're off for a walk. I like how colorful the world looks. Oh, oh. The rest of the world does not exist, unfortunately, team. So we still don't know what the uh, point of earning that money is, other than that we then earned that money. So... I mean, there's other people walking past, but... As far as I'm concerned, the rest of the world does not exist. Okay. Well, I think we've seen the gameplay that is here right now. You know, you can make beers, and then you can sell those beers. Cool. I mean, that's enough. You know, it does those things well. Um, there needs to be something to do with the money. Yeah. Because at the moment, there's just nothing, nothing to do. Nothing to do. So let's go look at the description and see what the game has to say for itself. All right, build your own brewery, Brewmastery. Brewmastery is an innkeeper and beer brewery simulator. Build your own brewery and revive the old tavern. Develop your territory, grow ingredients, and try different recipes in a realistic brewing process. Tavern guests can tell you stories and give you tasks. And don't forget to pull apart drunk orcs. Right, I mean... Yeah, none of that... Um, none of that looked like it was like... That's not in the game yet. I feel like none of that's in the game. So it's developed by uh, Rave Games. Um... 
I've I've played a few of these simulator these you know these job simulator sort of games. This one does a good job on yeah. You know, where upgrade your tavern? Set your yeah. So the setting your prices doesn't work. Um, it all of the all of the prices um, get adjusted when you adjust one. So I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing there. Um, the prices seem really weird. Like selling beer for 350 or whatever. I don't know what the the unit of measurement we're talking about here is. Um, I would be very interested to see this game get better through early access. But yeah, realistically right now, there are some frustrating things and there doesn't seem to be any sort of reason. Yeah, so like in these games, the reason that you do the chores is to grow the business, to get better and to enhance your ability to, you know, serve more customers and stuff and you get bigger and bigger um, and you grow more intense and different kinds of uh, hops and, and barley and wheat and beers and you get different kinds of clientele and they tell you different stories. At the moment, we've got the basics, like the game functions, the beer brewing process is pretty intricate, um, but all of the icing isn't there. So we've got a cake with no icing. And realistically, if you want people to invest in this game, you know, invest their time and stuff, there needs to be the icing. There needs to be stuff to do beyond just brewing beer. And hey, maybe, maybe I didn't play long enough. Maybe um, that guy comes back once you've sold enough beer. I actually don't know. Um, but it didn't feel like that. It didn't seem like that was going to happen. Um, and there was no sort of indication as to what my goal was. He just said, brew a bunch of different beers so that you can serve different customers. And that makes sense. And I did that. Um, and then they were upset anyway. Which, like I said, is the most realistic part of the customer service experience there. Uh, but there was no sort of next thing. And I know that the campaign was locked. And I'm guessing the campaign will have more interesting encounters and environments and things that will happen uh, but as it is really what we've got is a viable product in that you can brew beers but that's it all you can do is brew beers it kind of yeah they, they've gotten the the realistic brew beer uh, brew beering beer brewing done well it looks very nice it's very pretty it's like uh skyrim the it, if i was playing skyrim right now with all the mods and stuff it kind of looks like that um there's not much to interact with other than the brewing stations in the house so that's another missed opportunity and the um the actual customers just want one beer and then they leave and that's fine but it's not incredibly interesting and not super simulation of running a tavern i don't know so i don't know what the next i don't know what the next steps are i don't know where we're going in early access but we'll, we'll have a look here we'll see what the we'll see what they have to say um working on this game for quite some time at this point of development we're looking for more feedback and bug reports and also the amount of content is limited at the stage and is under development yeah absolutely um so my feedback is that the um tilting the glass mini game needs to be more explicitly clear because it took me ages to figure out what i needed to do there um i don't know going up and down the stairs to get water to put into the boiler is pretty frustrating I just, yeah I, I guess that you do need to do that but I, I wish there was a way to do that without doing that um the little clock it's nice that you can pick it up but unequipping it doesn't really work there's no button for unequipping it and i uh, you know uh, my only other option is to drop it which i don't want to do i just want to have it equipped so um, i know you've got like a little radial menu there where you can pick the things but um you might want to adopt a little like one two three four kind of menu so that if you've got stuff in in your inventory you can put it into a quick bar and just click it um into your hand because having to go into that radial menu every time i wanted to speed up the game was a nightmare yeah so there's some there's some feedback for you uh after releasing the game in early access we plan to be polishing first fast as we can after then we're planning to add story content and brewing options yeah so the story content is going to be really important man because um at the moment it is just brewing there's no there's no reason to be doing the brewing 
Hopefully in time, you'll see the better version of this game without bugs, with good optimization and lots of content. Okay? Plan to add new quests, main story, drinks, and ingredients. Yeah, and I mean, don't ignore the fact that the customers are going to be the most interesting part when you're serving them their drinks. So we need more than like two or three canned responses to the, um, the drinks. You've written really amazing descriptions of every different type of beer you can brew and then just wrote three little text files for the responses that you can get and give to the um, customers and left it at that. So there's a big area for you to expand on. Also customers, if, if it's easy enough, customers should probably come and stay and order more than one drink, you know? And, you know, and I know that might be hard to code, but it's more indicative of how people would do it. And also, um, you know, having like a bar instead of a thing, I don't know. There's lots of options there. I don't know how easy it is to do. I like what's here. I like the polish that you put into it. I like that you haven't gotten bogged down in like trying to let people craft the building um, because that, having a whole building system is just kind of a nightmare. It would be good to be able to spend that money on expanding the tavern um, and maybe even hiring staff or whatever, but you know, have the tavern just expand naturally. Um, you know, like you just pay the money, it gets expanded and then you have a new tavern and you've, you've crafted it because then it can look really good. Uh, you know, because no matter how good I am at building stuff in the, in the Sims or in any of those crafting games, it always looks like, you know, I made it. It's higgledy-piggledy. It's just whatever I happen to like at the time. And then basically I go for function over form and you end up with a, you know, half done thing that uh, technically works but looks terrible. So I like that you've, you've taken that option away. I like the simplicity of that. So... Uh, it's fully playable in sandbox mode with tutorial when you can try out main mechanics and give us your feedback. Yep, the main mechanics work. That's all I can say. Uh, the price can be raised over the course of development. Right now it's $13.25. I think that's actually a very fair price for an early access game that looks and plays like this. I think they've done a good job here. So um, I appreciate that price. It's like $9 uh, US. Yeah, so let's read this about this game. Uh, build your own medieval brewery with a set, a full set of realistic equipment and get the most out of all the intricacies of making drinks. From harvesting to malting, from brewing to aging, fermentation, filtration, and finally serving your drinks to tavern guests. Immerse yourself in the entertaining process of brewing through all the stages. As you play, you'll have to develop the old tavern, which you inherited from your uncle, and turn it into the best place in this magical land. You have two floors and dozens of functional rooms that can be upgraded and changed to your liking. An authentic brewery on two floors will not leave anyone indifferent. Upgrade your equipment and keep an eye on its wear and tear because the quality of your drinks depends on it. Right, so that's not in the game right now. None of that's in the game. Um, so if you're buying this game right now, none of that stuff is in the game. From your own vegetable garden on the adjoining grounds where you can grow ingredients to the noisy and fun tavern hall where music plays and beer pours like a river from the imp that's not a sentence you need no you that's not a sentence from your own vegetable gar basically this says from your own bench vegetable garden um to the noisy fun tavern hall and that's what it says and it has some descriptions of those places and then it has a a, a period a full stop um that's not a sentence okay so it would be from your own vegetable garden to the noisy and fun tavern hall um this game takes you on a journey or something something has to happen you can't say this to this and then nothing happens um that's fine from the impressive two-store brewery filled with all sorts of brewing equipment to the cozy player's bedroom which houses secret study that opens up as the building evolves still not a sentence none of that is a sentence oh my god uh, uh, no I try not to do this. I try. I try to be nice, but there's no sentence in there. None of that is a sentence. It's lots of words, and it looks like it should be a sentence, but it's not. None of that is a sentence. Oh man, because which houses a secret study that opens up as the building evolves is still describing the impressive two-store two-story brewery that. Um, uh, sorry, it's still describing the cozy player's bedroom. And we're still in that same sentence fragment of from the two-story brewery to the cozy player's bedroom. What happens? Do you see what I'm saying? 
Not a sentence. Neither of those are sentences. They need to have something that is happening in them. Nothing happens in those sentences. Oof. Okay. Anyways, that's, uh, that's the English teacher and me coming out, um, because, like, there's some interesting word choice there, but no sentences. <laughs> okay, but that's not all. Uh, the story-oriented simulator allows you to plunge into the vibey atmosphere of the fantasy world where the guests of the tavern were sh will share their stories with the player. They had one story to tell me. Um, tell the latest gossip of the local lands, as well as give tasks by completing which you can improve your reputation and make the tavern a well-known place. Entertaining quests will give you freedom of choice, where every decision you make will be reflected in the course of events. Accidentally, not really, dropped a fly, Amantia, into the vat with the governor's favorite beer, a local regular, or overheated the malt. Get ready for the consequences, both fun and not so fun. The player writes the history of the tavern with his... their decisions. You can just say there, because uh, you don't know the gender of the people that are playing. Just saying. Um, I guess, oh, I guess the character might be male, but it, it, the character is, like, literally not existent, so the character could just be whoever you want. <sighs> See, I get frustrated, sometimes I get frustrated at games like this, because I like the game, and then, um, the things that are lacking frustrate me more than the things that it has. Uh, so they, they made a different game called Chickenoid, Super Pre-Party, and Zombie Crush VR. What is Zombie Crush VR? Uh, I just, I guess I'll just look at it. So it is a VR shooter game. Right? I mean, okay, that's it. That's, that's all I need to know. So, look, Rave, Game Dev, uh... I like this game. I like this Brewmastery Tavern Simulator. Um, I'm excited to see where it goes. The description is a little bit misleading. I think it's more aspirational than uh, factual, but it if all that stuff ends up being in the game, that's awesome. If you're looking for someone to help you localize into English, uh, happy to offer my services. Also, uh, I am a, uh, you know, voice actor extraordinaire. Um, I am happy to do some voice acting as well if you need some voice acting. Uh, but if not, that's fine. But please take my feedback here. Um, some things are a little bit frustrating, and the the way the cookbook works is a little bit frustrating as well. Um, and the fact that when uh, one really easy thing, when you tell the book to recognize what kind of beer you've got, it doesn't tell you. You have to go and put it into something for you for you to see what it actually is. Very dumb. It should be like whoa, and come up with like a you know, a text box saying, you've made this. You don't want to have, like, its vital statistics and a description of it. I'm just saying that it could be improved. So, I'm going to leave it there. That's a very long look at the description. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment down below. Check out Brewery, uh, Brew, the Brew Mastery. Build your own brewery by check, uh, clicking on the link in the description. And otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Class dismissed.